I finally found the health care I've been looking for. It's the UCCS Health Circle Primary Care Clinic across from University Village on North Nevada Avenue. The nurse practitioner managed clinic is a perfect fit. I have longer appointments so I don't feel rushed. And we've created a personal health plan that's really working for me. UCCS Health Circle is more than a provider. They're my new health care partner. I want to welcome you all back to the Lion's Den special edition today. It is the national signing today. Brandon Applehands, Charlie Botnick, David Olson, and we are joined with Brandon Masters, the head track and field coach here, and as well to my left here, Mark Mish, head men's cross country coach. Now, I got to give a shout out to Corey Kabatsky, head women's cross country coach, as they are doing their things today here. So, coaches, want to thank you both for coming. How are you guys both doing today? Great. Good to be here. Thanks, man. Great. Great day. So it's National Signing Day. Got a lot of recruits coming in. Baby Mountain Lions watching here on the signing day. So I don't know who wants to take a coach. I'm going to give you the reins here. Uh, the veteran here. Coach, tell me who is coming here and uh, really the potential this team has. Well, uh, first off, uh, as you guys alluded to, Coach Kabatsky, he's on the road traveling to uh, California right now with mm -hmm. several of our ladies. So we'll talk a little bit about uh, his crew as well. And um, as you guys alluded to, we've got a lot going on. Um, it's an exciting year for us with the expansion of, of the program and track and field. We're fortunate to have Coach Masters back in the scene. and um, So, yeah, as, as a whole, uh, you know, we're on both the men and women's side. Uh, in terms of cross country, we're, we're graduating a small group, but a very quality group, so we, we will miss them. But uh, we are excited about a lot of the young people we've got coming in on both sides. Um, pretty, pretty simply put, uh, you know, uh, our, our overall goal of the program is always to get better, uh, but not just better athletically, but always keep working on doing things the right way and the way we, we, we do things with our program. And that was one of the key reasons we were happy to get Coach Masters to come back. We were fortunate to have him uh, work with us when, when, our, when our program was really just getting off the ground. And then he had done so well, he had the opportunity to coach out at Missouri Raw, did an awesome job at s &T. And uh, when the school made the decision to make a big commitment to the program and, and really go all in last summer, we knew he was the guy to bring back. And he's and so he's worked extremely hard this year on recruiting. And, and uh, so we're excited about the expansion overall of the programs for men and women's track and field and cross country, uh, the, the resources, facilities, and obviously the personnel that have been uh, that have been added to our staff. Um, so looking into next year, we're. You know, looking at well over 100 total student athletes and those programs combined, um, it is kind of a unique uh, setup regard in, in terms of college athletics because we're the only really dual gender and multi championship sport with six combined seasons between cross country and indoor and outdoor. So you have a big staff of people. It's kind of like managing a circus, um, and that's why you want to be with people you want to be around from a coaching standpoint and also the athletes. Uh, so. We're fortunate to have that. Um, I'll let Coach talk more about the track crew he's got coming in in a, in a minute. He's got a big class and, and a, lot of, a lot of new faces we're excited to have around. Um, just in, on my side of the, of the table, um, we're probably looking at about a dozen new, new guys coming in next year between transfers and, and guys that have uh, signed or, or, or you know, committed to come here. Um, and but, but we're obviously more, you know, the guys that are already here invested in the program. We've got a big class returning, and we're, we're really have some pretty high expectations for them. But as everybody knows, uh, this conference and region is as good as it gets in, in, in our sport in Division II, and um, so that, that standard is very high. Uh, but, but in terms of the, the, the personnel and the people, um, we're looking forward to having that group assembled come August. I'll sit that back for me. Coach here, first year, uh, you know, back with the Mountain Lions, Take me through really the recruiting process and uh, really how it's been going and a lot of names there on that uh, pretty piece of paper. Hey, yeah, a lot of names. Uh, it, it's been uh, uh, an interesting year, you know, after being last three years at Missouri S&T and trying to coach uh, to a championship and winning the last two men's championships in the GLVC conference and coming here and having just a few kids on the roster to start. It's very difficult. I knew my year was going to be filled with recruiting. Uh, I like to recruit, but recruiting a whole team, both genders, all the events from 400 hurdles down, throws, jumps, everything, very difficult. Um, so I knew what I wanted to do starting the year and who I, uh, I wanted to try to go get as far as uh, um, you know, a foundation for this team. 
Uh, we want to be uh, very deep in, in all events eventually in, in a, a few years. And so I did want to get athletes. But more than that, I wanted to get high academic, high character leaders. I don't have upperclassmen. I don't have juniors, seniors. I, I have freshmen coming in and a, and a, a, a few sophomores and, and a few transfers. Uh, but for the most part, I needed uh, good, high character kids that get it, uh, that do it in the classroom, that are willing to uh, work hard for me, buy into a new system, new coach. So uh, we're really fortunate in the fall to bring in a great class, a lot of numbers, uh, a lot of great ladies and great guys that, uh, that, that bought into the dream of what I'm building right. and what we are here at UCCS. So that was really exciting to have that class. Um, this class in the spring, unbelievable class. Uh, you look at state championships and all events. Uh, the men uh, were a little bit uh, heavier in this signing versus the women a little earlier uh, in this fall signing. Uh, but really exciting class uh, throughout. Um, a couple different states involved, a lot of Colorado kids, uh, but just a lot of pure talent, yeah. so it's exciting. And like you said, you know, talking about the, you have to recruit a whole team. And I know that that, that just sounds difficult, but um, really, <laughs> what are you looking for? What are you looking for in that? And who are you really trying to find, you know, on the field and off the field? Well, uh, what we really look for is, is someone who can come in and um, score in a couple of different events. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our, our uh, sport's a little bit different. We don't have a win-loss record. We have something that we go to the conference championships indoors and outdoors, and so we have to score a lot of a points, points in a lot of different ways. When you're only dealing with one real class, a freshman class, you got to get kids that can, can go and, and try to score in year one. Very difficult. Uh, the RMX is loaded uh, in teams, uh, uh, and they're deep. So it's going to be difficult to us, for us to break in. So ideally, you find a kid that's going to go score you know, 10, 12 <laughs> points. Right. Uh, it's, it's easier said than done. It's tough. Uh, do I think we have some of them? Yeah. I do. I'm really excited about this class. we got some guys that can really just flat out score and lay just some score. So can we get them there in year one as freshmen? I don't know yet. You know, okay. that's, a, that's a big stretch from high school to college, but I, li I like who we're bringing in. Now I want to hear from the man of the hour, David Olson. He has the, what you probably see on the segment, running things here. David, what do you got for these guys, man? you got two of them in the same room. What do you got? Well, I do have to say that I uh, went through the list, or at least the names that I do have as far as the freshmen that are coming in. And uh, I, I have him more for uh, your athletes, more so than uh, Coach uh, Mish's athletes. Um, but I just have to ask uh, Coach Masters here in particular, uh, again, you, you mentioned it, but a lot of talent, a few state champions. We don't have to go through all of them, but if you can narrow it down to just a few, who are you really excited about uh, as far as you think that they can compete this next year? Yeah, good question. You put me on the spot here. Let me look at your list. <laughs> um, you know, I think one of the best pure talents is I'm a guy who can step in immediately and help us. Uh, you know, Kyle Rex, local kid uh, here just up the hill uh, in Monument at Palmer Ridge. Uh, unbelievably talented kid that's going to be able to uh, step in and score for us and hopefully uh, at least two events, maybe more. So, um, you know, he'll be doing the multis for us. He's a pole vaulter. Um, He's also good in several other events, that the uh, like high jump, for, for instance. So uh, we're really excited about his uh, opportunities here with uh, you know the coaching staff that we have uh, here, obviously with me, but also coming in. So um, it, we, we look to him to provide a lot of high character, a lot of leadership. Um, you know, uh, Pittman Foxall, uh, a Nebraska guy, he's coming in. He's uh, extremely talented, uh, very, very fast, and uh, he'll be doing a lot of sprints, mo uh, relays, as well as the long jump. So I expect big things out, out of Pittman. And with that name, how can you go wrong? <laughs> yeah. um, uh, Matt Hansen, uh, great hurdler, uh, raw talent. Uh, he's going to do a lot of different things for us. Uh, one, of the, one of probably the biggest recruits I picked up is, is Max Gilbertson, uh, incredible hurdler. Uh, even having a, a rough indoor season kind of banged up a little bit, he still has the number two time in hurdles in the state at 1454. That is flying, guys. And, and not only that, is Max can convert to the 42 inch hurdles, he's already wow. done it. And so um, we're really excited about that hurdle group. On the men's side, uh, we have, um, 
you know, a couple throwers that, uh, you, you know, we have TCAs, uh, Connor Bertles, uh, he, can, he can sling a disc. And uh, we expect him to come in and, and transfer over to uh, the collegiate uh, uh, implements and be able to, to, to score for us potentially as well. Um, waiting on a couple other okay. uh, uh, NLIs to come in, so I'm not going to mention uh, a couple of those names yet. But <laughs> gotta uh, keep it secret. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of the, uh, I guess, uh, most talented raw kid that I- I'm real excited about is Derek Valdez. Um, Derek, uh, Pueblo guy, Pueblo Centennial. Um, he is uh, one of the top high jumpers in the state, having one year track under his belt. He's extremely raw. He jumped six seven um, uh, last year in his first year, so I'm thinking he's going to be a, a hard guy to stop oh, here. And he's also wow. done the long jump at a high level, so we're real excited he could be a two event scorer for us as well. Now switching back to head coach Mark Mish, coach, we've talked in the past and really uh, you know interview after interview. What you did tell me though is sometimes you bring in players or excuse me runners so far as you're going to groom them to in four years they will be all americans and you've had that in the past take me through anyone that jumps off really that sheet you have there uh, i know it's, it's hard to say we do it alphabetical but uh, who really jumps out on that stat sheet and really uh, is going to be one of the best runners here you're looking forward to seeing them in a mountain line uniform well i don't i don't <laughs> i'm not going to put any pressure on anybody um i i you know like you said we kind of our philosophy it's a little different in distance running um just simply, especially on the guys' side, because it is so much about development. And, you know, we've had a lot of guys from a lot of different backgrounds that have come in, and, and you have to give them some time to kind of see where they're at. And, you know, we it, it def, you know on the coach master's side, it's, it's definitely, you know, in sprints and jumps and, and, and the power events and throws, it's pretty easy to, you can see, okay, this is where this guy stands right now, you know. Um, in the distance running, they, they don't even run the same distances in high school. I mean, you know, they're not running as far. Uh, in the college level, it's 10K for cross, and even on the track, the, the steeple will chase, the 5,000, things like that. So it's, it's a little harder to project. I'm, I'm always a little cautious of, of um, putting too much on those guys because it is such a steep learning curve. Um, but we do have a lot of fellows, obviously, that we feel really good about. And more, and more, more importantly, we feel like they'll mesh really well with the philosophy of the program and the guys we already have, and that's really half of it. I mean, um, you know, uh, everybody wants to do well, and you want to get better. There's no secret to that, but you obviously want to enjoy the people you're spending time around, and that's half of it. I think within a team is, um, you know, you have the right combination of folks, then generally positive things are going to happen. So that's that's kind of how we look at it. I mean, if I had a crystal ball and could could tell you exactly who's going to do what, um, I you know probably wouldn't be coaching, huh? But I think that there's there's a lot of things that. Uh, you know, you reflect on, you know, and I know coach could say the same thing, you know, when you do this long enough, you reflect back and you have a lot of people that come into the program from a lot of different backgrounds. And sometimes you're, you're absolutely surprised at like what that person ends up and you can't really predict those things. So, but I feel great about who we have. Um, a lot of kids with a lot of character. Like I said, we return a great group right now. We've got 22 returners on the men's side and we're adding about a dozen. So, I mean, that's a pretty big men's team, and we only have three seniors out of that group, which, which, are, which are all good guys, but, um, but that's a big, big team. And on the women's side, for Coach K, um, they do lose, you know, some pretty, pretty good gals, but they actually have a great group of a, a younger group right now on the team, a good group of underclassmen, and he's really excited about. And they're adding some, some young ladies they signed in the fall already that are really good. So... I think, um, you know, between he and I, I think our, I think we might have, you know, mid-55 or so kids between the cross-country teams and men and women. That's a pretty good group. So, um, yeah, I think that uh, when you, whenever you have those kind of people together um, and you've got some great leadership, then generally you're going to be going the right direction. And so that's probably more valuable than any stat I can give you is feeling like we have those people in place to get us where we need to go. We, we have a pretty, we've got a good core group of people that have already competed, you know, at a high level national championships in either track or cross country or, or been there, done that. And so that's standards there that people understand what we've got to do and it doesn't get any easier any year. So, um, but we feel like we feel good about the, the people we have to the, the group assembled. So, and you know, kind of a question for both of you with these recruits, how do you sell them on UCCS? What are really the selling points? And, you know, I know the weather is crazy here <laughs> in Pikes Peak, but what is your go-to selling point for these recruits? And whoever wants to jump in first. 
Go to bed, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah, it was really pretty simple for me. I think I go back to when I started working here and why I started working. Um, there's a lot, as Coach Masters can tell you. I mean, there's there's a lot of jobs. I mean, there's things you can do, but you have to figure out like what's important to you. You know, like where do you want to be? What do you want to represent? And you know, the university has continually been going in the right direction from since I've been here. I mean, you know, and and we've got a lot of good things going. I think it sells itself in terms on the academic side, and then that's why the school exists. And uh, you know, when a young person looks and says, "Man, this is where they stack up versus schools," we come out favorably, and then. They walk on this campus and they see all the things that have happened uh, that's going on, the, grow, the growth and the facilities. And, and, and I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, so you feel pretty good about that. And then at the end of the day, um, again, if you're, you're the coach working with them, uh, you know, you want them to feel comfortable about the philosophy of the program and um, what you're doing in the vision and what they're going to be a part of. And so uh, it's a pretty simple formula. At least that's how I've approached it. And I think that, uh, I mean, Coach can speak on his behalf. I'm sure it's not too different than that. But go ahead. Brandon, yeah, pretty much uh, right in line there. You know, academics plays a big part of this, and we play that up big because the University of Colorado means something. And, uh, you know, so a lot of our kids are high academic. In fact, this is probably the best class I've ever brought in is academically, you know, uh, unbelievable uh, GPAs and uh, test scores. So um, other than that, it's uh, obviously the campus, the beauty sitting at the bottom of Pikes Peak. And uh, hopefully I can uh, talk to them about how well uh, our coaching staff is going to teach them uh, track and field. And now staying on the realm of really UCCS, uh, Coach, first year, obviously the veteran, we said, as far as UCCS goes, we've had teams where competing at the highest. And UCCS, every sport down the line, uh, and that stems from Kirkham, and uh, they expect the best out of this program. We'll start with you. Being a first-year head coach back here at UCCS, tell me about what was it like coming here and really getting a job to a program that expects the best in and out of the classroom? Well, I, I valued that uh, from the beginning, and I think that's probably one of the reasons I, uh, you, you know, end up here in this seat is, uh, you know, at uh, Missouri s and it was all about academics, a very high engineering uh, program. Uh, uh, some of the accolades that our teams have uh, gotten over the last couple of years were, were very high, including the number one team GPA in the country with the ladies team that had one year. So that's one of the reasons why it uh, m maybe, I, maybe I got the call, um, but uh, also the performance uh, that goes along with it. Um, you know, obviously high expectations in the classroom, but also high expectations on, on the playing fields of the tracks. So. And Coach, your answer? Um, to the, what he's asked, talking about, the yeah. same thing. I mean, well, uh, you know, I mean, the, 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 the student athletes, I mean, at the end of the day, if, like you said, when they're, you're looking at what, what do we do this for? Like, why does it exist? I mean, I love the sport and coach does too, but, you know, we're here coaching young people who are coming here to get a degree. That's what they're, they're going to go on and do something. So, you know, you want to be proud of what you're a part of, not only the academically the, the, what the degree is worth, but the people that you're spending your time with right. and the association, uh, you know, and the relationships and the connections and what you're doing down the road. And, um, you know, bit by bit, we've been building some alumni and things we're doing. I mean, our programs are, are very young, even, I mean, just in general across the board. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's happening as we go. And it's, it's, it's you know, I've, it's, it doesn't seem like I've been here as long as I have, but when I think back through trans, transitions and stuff, you know, we, it, it is because you think of the people that have been part of this. And, and so right now, I mean, there's kids that will be here that are here now and kids next year that are kind of building on the back of people that have come before. People who have not only done well and set some standards to help increase like the profile of this, the, the team or the school, but also did it in a way that you're proud of and that you want to continue to do things that right way. You know, one thing I always say to our guys is I, I in a, you know, so I might laugh at this or something, but I always say it's not just how good we do, it's how we do good. Um, and that kind of carries over into all the other stuff. Because when they walk out of here at the end of the day, regardless of how many accolades we accrue or records or whatever, you know, all conference or national qualifiers, you still want that that person's walking out of here with a degree and they're representing this school and the people that were part that that on that team with them you know and that's what you as a coach you know you and you do this long enough and you have those people that you've coached years before and you, you get to have that relationship with and that's what makes you proud is seeing like what those people are doing so 
Um, that's one thing that's great about, you know, working with coach, uh, master's coach Kabatsky, and, and just there's a lot of history there between all of us. But at the end of the day, knowing like, hey, yeah, we are competitive. We want to do good. But we want to be proud of how we do it. And because that's what you walk away with, you know. So that's kind of how I look at it. Uh, so just to uh, speak to that just a little bit, uh, I'm very curious to know. Uh, so Mish, Coach Mish, you've been here since 2007. Mm -hmm. that, is that right? How have you How have you seen the track program uh, evolve and progress in the time that you've been here? And uh, what are some of your uh, thoughts and just expectations on uh, – well, what's it going to be like having that field half of uh, track and field? Well, first of all, it's a lot more fun when, <laughs> when you have the whole circus, you know. And we, when we first started here, you know, um, it was a very different scene, um, kind of where the program was. Well, the whole department, you know, I mean, we were just part of the, the big puzzle of what direction they wanted to go with everything here and other sports and teams. And so... Um, when Coach Harmer, who worked with me for seven and a half years, we had a, a great relationship, and uh, he's now a coach uh, back for the UK, where he's from, on their national team staff. So that's that that, that in itself says a lot about some things we've done here. But um, you know, we started with what we had, and then Coach wanted to get, was getting back in the coaching game, and he came on board, and he was working another job and driving 45 minutes in the morning to come work with us, and. We were dealing with minimal resources, but still able to produce some pretty dang good individuals and do some things. And then, um, you know, we we were it was hard with the facility situation, and and we kind of came to a point where we felt like we either had to focus on quality um, with what we had, the resources, and then, and try to to do that, or else we were going to really struggle to have to gain much traction. Um, and it was a, in that transition, it was tough, um, but. The flip side of it that came out was we had some pretty good quality. I mean, we had some pretty good successes in cross country and several years at the nationals and both men and women's, and then also some good individuals in those events and track. And then slowly we're able to build some things back. But I mean, we had some good things happen. Then we had kids at the pin relays. We had, you know, represented a lot of big meets around the country. And but it was a matter of wanting to continue to do the things right with them, but just continue to add those in every other area. The, the number one key to that, besides having the, the facility to do that with any sport, but especially on the field, is you've got to have the right person to run that show, and Coach Masters is that guy. I mean, that's, his, that's what he is great at doing. He, he's, you know, a jack-of-all-trades when it comes to the events. I mean, just from he, his background and the sport itself. But that's the key in, in, at the college level to function, as a, to, to make the whole show go a team, uh, it's one thing to, to be able to coach certain people, but to understand how the whole thing goes, because it is a very difficult um, thing to manage, and, and and anybody will tell you that if they're honest about it, because you're dealing with such a diverse group of, of individuals, and the events are as different as night and day. So it is a it is a circus, and um, for us, when the school said, hey, we, we want to go all in on this, and we knew we had the, he was the guy on that side, combined with what we already have between Coach K and myself and then some of our assistants that were on board, you know, we felt like we had a winning combination and to start with. And he's, you know, like he said, he's spent all year putting the pieces together. And it's going to be exciting. I mean, I've been around for a long time, so, of course, I'm looking forward to seeing him do some damage and, you know, people, things to be excited about um, next season, you know. And, and it's cool because I think, as he alluded to, when you have so many young people, they bring a lot of enthusiasm too, um, and they're you know that that feeds on itself as well, and so it's going to be be fun. It'll be good. Some high praise there for you, Coach Masters. <laughs> so I got to ask you one of the final questions, unless you guys got some stuff. Did want to ask you? We talked about quality and really quantity for you, and the fact that you have to make up this team, uh, taking a, a lot of time to do that, and you've gotten really quality runners and uh, competitors. What's the process really been like in getting? And that really, how personal can you get with a lot of these kids? And how do you really scout out to them uh, the fact that you need to get a lot of uh, runners in different categories? You know, I think one of the big things that uh, helped me is the quality of the school. Um, a, a lot of kids found out that UCCS was putting a track, a track and field, expanding the programs, not just distance. And it made my job a lot easier. Now, 
still got to get them on campus. I still got to talk <laughs> right. to them about the school, and and, and they got to the jive with what I want. I mean, they got to buy in, and I want people to want to be here. That's the only way we're going to build a family that I want to build as a team here and succeed at the highest level. And they got to want to be here and buy in. And and I've been really lucky. I mean, we talk about the ladies and the guys from uh, the fall, uh, clear to you know, recent signees today. I'm very excited about this team. Now, I started uh, this year with, um, you know, four people on my team, basically, and, and now we're, we're just at a 50 for my group. Wow. Um, it's been busy. It's been hard. Um, but th there's a lot of quality. And I'm not just talking about some of the individuals I, I talked to about earlier, uh, but across the board. I mean, walk-ons will be a major part of our program. In track and field and cross country, uh, we have to have a lot of kids to fill a lot of events. And a lot of these guys are walk-ons. Um, I was a walk-on in college, you know, and, and so you, you, you learn uh, the sport, you learn what, the, what it means to be team, and, you, and the coaching staff will find a way for you to score. And a lot of these kids will score for us, maybe not year one or two, but by three or four. And we got to find an event for them to go score at the conference meeting. That's a big deal. So, uh, you know, across the board, I look down this list and I'm blown away with what um, we were able to accomplish this year. I was able to accomplish this year. I don't have a we as far as the staff yet, but um, it's so exciting. I mean, we are, um, will, be, will we be uh, top of the conference? No. Uh, they're freshmen. I mean, next year's going to be as hard or more hard than this year. This year was all about recruiting. Next year's managing a big freshman class. We may have 35 freshmen on the team next year. Right. That's that's big, yeah. you know, and they got to understand my expectations, coaching staff's expectations, and know what it takes to do it right. And that's what we have to lay in next year with these guys, and then continue the recruiting uh, uh, thing as well. So, well, hey, good guy in power. You have Brandon and Coach uh, Mark Mish here. I want to thank you guys both for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you very much. I appreciate it. All right, so that will do it for the Lions Den here as the track in field. Next up, what we got, Jared? Lacrosse. We got women's lacrosse, the newest addition here for the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. We will see you in just a bit here on the Lions Den. Comes from UCCS, from believing in yourself, from supportive faculty, from trying new things. Success comes from discovering your passion from being fearless, from those around you. Success comes from UCCS. Apply online at uccs.edu.